Hi, my name is Candice Massey. I am the runway producer for Make Fashion EDU, and I'm going to chat with you about how to tell the story of the costume on the runway. Some key points. Have fun. Be silly, because the more silly you are, the more relaxed you are, that energy is going to feed off, and you're going to give that energy to the kids. So relax. The runway is important because it provides students a platform to show off what they have worked hard on. And they enjoy this process. Like, who does not want to walk on a runway with a costume that they created? They're a superhero. They're embodying a character. They are becoming this person. So why not walking on the runway in the dark with lights? Camera action. Keep the student's story. They've created how they want to walk down the runway. Let them have it. Don't try to change it, try to make it presentable, but let them own how they want to walk down the runway. The, the student and their design team, before they get to rehearsals, should already have some type of walk planned uh, for that one minute and 30 seconds they're gonna be on the runway. It is for me to perfect when I get there. They're gonna already, I know most of the stories, so I have in my head, okay, this is how it's going to happen. But I don't know how they want to walk down the runway. So the students should set the pace. They should practice how they want their costume to present it because they made it. So they should just say how they want it to go down the runway. Now, when they get to rehearsals, they already have their walk plan. They should have been practicing their walk. They know the time. They know how many stops they have. So their walk is just going to uh, embody their story. Their walk should embody their story. So if I was a wizard, my costume is a wizard, I'm, I'm gonna come out wizard-like. wizard, wizard -like. If I'm strong, I'm gonna come out strong. For me, when I'm, when I'm rehearsing with students, it, the most important thing is for me to get them to have fun and relax on the runway because it's a big production, so it can be very intense for little kids. I have kids from five years old all the way up to 16, so it's a lot of, oh, if I do it wrong, if I do it right, just be natural and walk. You know, this is your story. You worked this hard on it. So it's just me building confidence. I'm not, I'm not even trying to change how they want their um, costume to be presented. I just want them to be confident when they walk down the runway. So when I go in, I just say, hey, just relax. It's okay. If you make a mistake, it's okay. We're kids. We make mistakes and we keep it moving. But I just walk with them on the runway. I may say, okay, we're gonna say our ABCs as we walk. Pause here. One, two, three. I just tell them to acknowledge their audience at each stop. So at each point, acknowledge your audience. Smile at them. Show off. This is your time to show off what you worked on. So own it. Be confident and own what you have made. So. I just build their confidence. I have fun with them, show them the pace of the walk because I don't want them walking too fast. Own that whole one minute and 30 seconds. That is your time for people to look at you and see what you have made. When they come out, that is their moment to stand and be and wow the audience. You stand there, one second, two second, three, and you start walking to the first point. You get to the first point, People can see you closer. Wow them, show them. Acknowledge your audience, look left to right. Be cocky when you're walking down the runway. And you do that for like three seconds. And then you keep walking. At the end of the runway, you're gonna go left and then you're gonna go right. It's like a little here and then you turn and you go there. Acknowledge your audience. But they're photographers at the end. So be cocky when you get down there, be confident be like fun this is your costume embody it own it and then you come back and this is the time where they're going to be like oh that was great oh because you're walking away but when you're walking you turn around again stand there that's your last time you're going to see you own it look around be confident you got it and walk back so depending on their music is going to embody the the feel of it but i need the walk even if they're walking um, slow, sometimes it's a cocky walk. Sometimes it's a relaxing walk. You know, if you're having a very 
natural, pretty dress and it's lighting up pretty, you walk pretty. You know, the walk is the same, but the attitude that exudes from their walk is different. So um, as a teacher, if I have a student that is quite shy and they have never been on the runway, um, I, just, I just really take my time and be patient with them. I let them know, I tell them their story is what I do. I tell them their story and I just tell, tell them what I would do on the runway, but I don't say it in a cocky way. I let them know that I know that you wrote this story. I know your idea behind it. So let's do it like this. I give them more than one option, you know, how to embody their costume as they go down the runway. I mean, I look at the costume and say, hey, this is an accent, let's build this bit up. You know, if you have wings, you know, if you're holding your hand like this, but it looks better if your wings are out like this, hold it up and walk. So you, you made this, they need to see everything that you made, all your take, all your feathers or whatever you have. Um, and then I let them pick because I never want to take over what they have created. I just give them the confidence, tweak it a little bit, make it presentable, and they have it. If you're inspired by these student projects, you can find a lot of ideas on our website, makefashion.org edu. Our channel has a full-length runway video and feature videos on individual student projects, as well as tech and instructional teaching videos, with more coming soon. Make Fashion EDU is supported by the 501c3 nonprofit Steamhead, and you can support future educational productions and initiatives through Patreon at the link below. We also have a new book that features last year's collection of amazing student work, as well as tech kits for your own projects that we source and assemble ourselves. And if you are creating your own cool fashion tech project, send it to us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hashtag MakeFashionEDU. And we would love to share your ideas and help grow the fashion tech community.